Hey guys, welcome to this extra video. I'm excited to be sitting here watching it with you. Uh, this is a collab video with Lisa from The Budget Equestrian. You guys, a lot of you guys know her channel. I'm super excited to watch it with you. I haven't watched it yet. I'm super excited to share it with you guys. Once this video is done, if you wanna watch our video, Lisa's having a premiere of our video, the one that we made on her channel, The Budget Equestrian. So hop on over to The Budget Equestrian, put a link in the description box, and we can watch that one together too. All three of us, all of us, even Lisa. Uh, it's gonna be so fun. In a true day-by-day -day fashion, things got crazy and chaotic. It's it's such a good video. Like, I love that video. Some videos I'm so super proud of, some videos not so proud of. I love it. Go check it out with us. That means we'll get to spend like a half an hour together tonight um, watching videos together. I also wanted to say thank you so much to Lisa from The Budget Equestrian. You are amazing. Doing this collab with you has been awesome. Getting to know you has been awesome. Holy cow, you are such a nice person. Somebody that I totally want to share on our channel. You're amazing. Thank you so much for having us on your channel and thank you so much for coming down to our channel. I'm Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Well, we are deep in the middle of summer, and I'm not sure about where you are, but where I live, it is getting really hot. And sometimes when it gets really hot, like it is right now, we can't always be riding our horses. So I thought it would be fun to do a couple easy DIY horse treat projects and share them with you right now. So my first very simple DIY horse treat is simply making a hang up an ice hang up actually, and it's really easy to do. You'll just need a couple of things and you probably already have these things at home. You'll need some water, you'll need some electrolytes, like powdered electrolytes that you feed to your horses, and some apple juice, and maybe something extra to put in. I found these little dehydrated apple slices at the dollar store, and I thought, well, let's go ahead and give the horses a little bit of a treat. So to make this hang up, I used a bunt pan. First, what I did was take some hot water to dissolve the electrolytes into. I mixed that up and then dumped that into the bunt pan. Then I added a bottle of apple juice that I got at the dollar store and just stirred everything together. And then I added in the dehydrated fruit pieces. Now these are apple, so safe for horses. And the longest part of this project is waiting for the water to freeze. So I put the bunt pan into my freezer overnight. And while that was freezing, I found a way to hang up the ice for my horses. So I grabbed some twine. If you're anything like me, you probably have lots of twine in your barn waiting for a project. So I grabbed a couple of pieces, braided them together to make a hanger. And once my summertime horse treat had finally frozen, I used the twine to hang it up for my horses to enjoy. That's one project that you can do. Super easy, super affordable, and I think your horses will really like it. Another fun thing to do when you can't ride is make your horse some treats. Making horse treats yourself is really easy. You just need to have a kind of a general idea of what horses can and cannot eat. And for one of my horses, he has some dental issues, so I really like to make the treats nice and soft for him so I can break them apart and feed them to him easily. And homemade horse treats are very easy to make. Most of these things I'm willing to bet you probably already have in your kitchen, especially if you have horses. So some molasses, some flour. If you wanted to put in some rolled oats, you can. You can add some sugar. You can add Himalayan salt. But the key to this I found is adding a little bit more molasses and making it kind of like a cake batter, maybe a little bit thicker than that 
And I found this really cool muffin tin. It's like tiny muffins, so it makes the perfect size horse treat. Just put them in the oven, which has been preheated to 350 degrees. Bake them for about 25 minutes and then pull them out. And if you want to add a little bit of something special to the treat, you can get some starlight mints and just press those down into the center of the treat and then remove it from the muffin tin. Once your treats have completely cooled, like several hours, then you can put them into an airtight container. That way they'll stay soft. These may not be as fancy as the store-bought treats, but my horses don't seem to mind. They seem to enjoy them just as much as the store-bought treats. And I've got one more summertime DIY project for you. Super easy, but I think super important too. How many times have we run out of fly spray? You have the fly spray in your barn, you're getting ready to go ride, and you grab the fly spray container and it's empty. That's happened to me more than once. Or if you just can't afford to go buy some fly spray, I've got a really easy alternative for you. You just need a few ingredients and you can add more if you want to. I keep all of the spray bottles that I get and so I have quite a collection that I've had over the years with my horses. But this is actually a fly spray bottle that I found some really cute duct tape with a pattern on it. It's owls. And then I used some Mod Podge to make sure that the duct tape was gonna stay in place. I made a label for it to say what it is and this way I can make my own fly spray and I know what's in the bottle because can't really see it because of the duct tape. And fly spray really isn't that difficult to make. Basically you can take some water and if you have vinegar or apple cider vinegar, if those were the only two things it would work. It doesn't last for very long so I like to add a few extra ingredients to make the fly spray last a little bit longer. I'll use a little bit of Castile soap, but if you don't have that, you can use liquid dish soap. I also use a little bit of coconut oil. Any type of oil will do. Coconut oil, castor oil, neem oil, any of those will work just fine. And you just put a little bit of that into your bottle. I find that this helps the concoction to stay on my horses longer. And it also helps to act as a carrier for the next part of this that I really enjoy putting into all of my homemade fly sprays, no matter which kind it is, different essential oils. And you can use citronella, lemongrass, peppermint, rosemary, a combination of all of those, or just one or two, depending on what you have. I find that it does help to keep the flies away a little bit longer than just the vinegar alone. It's very affordable to make, and if I run out of fly spray, I can make it myself. I also use this as a spray for my horse's stalls. So after they've been turned out for the day and I'm done cleaning their stalls, I'll just grab this fly spray and spray it all around the stall, on the walls, everywhere that I can that I see flies land. And I'd much rather use this solution to just spray all over the stalls instead of using the really expensive fly spray because this is more affordable and I can make it myself. Well, there you have it. Three different DIY projects for you to do when you can't be riding your horse. Thank you so much to Sam, Laura, Sophie, and Gabby for having me on your channel. I really enjoy your vlogs. It's nice to know that there's other people out there that just love being with their horses. And to you, all of the day-by-day -day vlog followers and subscribers, thanks for taking a few minutes to watch what I had to share and Maybe I'll see you soon. All right, you guys. See you next time. Don't forget, go over and watch our video on the budget equestrian. Sometimes I think our horses are a little shocking. We'll see you guys there. Don't you know that you're beautiful?